What's up guys, it's your boy Rich here. So what kind of watch do we get when Canada and Germany team up? We get Whippy Watch Company's Intrepid, a watch inspired by the real legendary super spy Sir William Stevenson, whom 007 was kind of sort of modeled after. Let's go take a closer look at it. Let's go. And here it is in 44 millimeters, 50 from lug to lug, 14 millimeters tall, and with a 22 millimeter lug width. And before we get on with the details of the watch, and by the way, it is a nicely crafted watch. I think an important part of the Whitby's Intrepid has to be the story behind the watch because it has a whole cool spy vibe genre going on, but it's based off of a real spy, so it gives that authentic spy vibe genre going on. And we're talking about Sir William Stevenson. And while I don't have great knowledge of spies, but I do find that whole genre fascinating, I am aware that Ian Fleming, who is the author or creator of James Bond or 007 character, uh, based or modeled 007 after Sir William Stevenson. And Fleming was quoted as saying that James Bond is a highly romanticized version of a true spy. The real thing is William Stevenson. And, you know, William Stevenson from what I have read, is someone that was very instrumental in being a Canadian hero and a spy, and he started what's known as Camp X, which is where they trained a lot of the spies. So he really was instrumental and a really recognized spy instead of a fictitious character. So as we go on talking about the watch, it is nicely finished. And, you know, un unlike a lot of dive watches, it's done mostly in a polished finishing with brushed center links and I think let's stay here on the bracelet because it does kind of sort of remind me of Patek's Nautilus and it is nicely done it has a single clasp uh, with the Whitby name right there and it also has a divers extension right here so again I think the bracelet is well done it is a substantially hefty watch in the hand. So if you're looking for a lightweight titanium watch, this isn't it. But for me, I do like the heft of a watch. I like feeling the weight of a watch. The dial has applied indices and a really cool royal blue sunburst effect. So while my version is in blue, it is also available in red and black. So here is a very unique travel presentation that the Intrepid comes in. And on the case itself, it says Nanook 904. And I had no idea what Nanook was until I looked them up. And they actually make really quality plastic uh, cases like this. So this is a really high quality plastic. This is not just some fashion plastic. This is actually waterproof and can survive our real outdoor adventures. A really nicely made and practical uh, case right here. So let's see inside what comes included in the presentation. So in true spy form, if I was conducting an investigation, I might notice what looks like a false wall and I would remove it and it's styrofoam and there's a Whippy logo. And inside there, it looks like there are some files here that are not intended for our eyes when in fact they are meant for our eyes. So here is the manila looking folder that says top secret, kind of cool. And here is their Whitby warranty card right here and a photograph of Sir William Stevenson and a photo of what says RDX explosive training from 1943 at Camp X and a photograph of Camp X from 1942 or 1943 it says there so some pretty cool stuff right there and it also comes with a commemorative silver coin and on the back is their logo the compass rose a nice touch and it also comes with a bonus silicone strap a nice quality silicone strap and in my opinion i think it might actually look nicer on on the rubber i i think so at least i'm a really big fan of uh, silicone straps so it comes with the bracelet and the bonus silicone strap and inside here it has three slots for three different watches. And Whitby Watch Company makes more than just divers. They also make some really cool pilot watches that could also be used or any of our watches in here. So I think this presentation is a very useful and practical case. And while I am not a big history buff on, uh, on spies, I do find it fascinating. And if you are someone who is into that, I would encourage you to check out Whitby Watch Company's website because they did a really nice job 
at presenting information on the history of Whitby and on Sir William Stevenson. I found it a very fascinating and enjoyable read. The Intrepid is water resistant to 200 meters and the bezel inlay has a really nice satiny finish to it and that's because it's aluminum. So let's check out the turn action. Here we go. Very satisfying. I would describe the turn action as being more on the resistant side than the looser side, which is actually my preference. And there is next to little to no backplate. Just a very nicely constructed bezel here. So earlier we got to see the case back when I revealed the clasp and we're going to get a better look at it uh, right now. And the logo on the solid case back is what Whitby calls the compass rose and according to their website that is meant to represent the connection that all Canadians feel for their contributions to freeing the world and right let me flip it back around right under the logo uh, we're going to see that these are limited editions of 103 pieces each so it's 103 limited edition pieces of the blue the red and the black and mine is number 19 of 103 and that 103 is meant to represent part of Camp X. And what didn't go unnoticed on me is uh, right there we're going to see it says made in Germany. And the irony is that Sir William Stevenson, this is a country that he was trained against. But as they say, time heals uh, everything. So if I was to make a watch, Germany would definitely be one of the choices that I would consider. I just am a really big fan of German made watches. But I, I did want to point that out because I thought it was uh, quite ironic. This is a very substantial watch, like I said, a very well-made watch. Um, the polished finishing, I can understand, may not be for everyone, but it is different because most of the watches or dive watches are brushed. Uh, that has the crown guards and the signed crown. Overall, this is just a really nice, uh, complete package. So the movement that is powering the Intrepid is the Eta 2824. And the retail price is just $528. And I say just um, because I think for $528, we are getting a, a, quite an impressive package with a nice, reliable, trusted movement. A watch that is designed in Canada, but assembled and manufactured in Germany. So, you know, if we are into the true stories behind a watch, and I certainly enjoy real life stories about my watches. And I think the Intrepid is going to be a right, really nice option for us. It certainly is well made and goes beyond um, just a marketing ploy of the whole spy genre story. It actually is a really nicely made, really nicely made watch. And I think it is really attractive. So if we're looking for a nice dive watch that is different, that has a real story behind it and is priced very competitively and reasonably, then I think the Intrepid is going to be a great option for us. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you the next time. Inspired by the real life spy, Sir William Stevenson, and... That was a really long intro. Where 007 was kind of sort of... Kind of sort of modeled after...